Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to give you the concept of what we call an initial value problem. Whenever we have a second order differential equation, in this case, it's a non-homogeneous equation, and we have the three functions p, q, and f, which are assumed to be continuous on the given interval of interest, then there's only one solution to this differential equation if y at some value for x is equal to one constant and y prime evaluated at, again, initial condition, x equal a, is equal to another constant, b1 and b2 are simply two numbers or two constants. Now what that means is that we have an initial value, x equals a, for the function, and then we have initial value, x equals a, for the first derivative of the function. In each case, we have a specific value for that function or for the derivative of that function. And if that's the case, then there's only one solution to this differential equation. As a counter argument to that is, let's say there's only one initial condition. For example, initial condition for the function at x equals a, let's say it's equal to b1. And here I have an example graphically. You can see here that there's multiple solutions to that differential equation, and that all of those solutions have the same value for the function y when x equals a, they all have the same value for that function equals to b1. And you can see there's multiple solutions to that, all of them which have the same initial condition for the function. But none of them have the same initial condition for the derivative of that function at that point. Because if you look at the slope at that point, you can see that each of the functions has a different slope. So if we only pick a specific slope, only one of those lines will actually both have that initial condition for the function at x equals a and have the initial condition for the derivative function, the slope of that function, at x equals a. And then in that case, there's only one solution. If only one initial condition is used, then there can be an infinite number of solutions. And that's what we mean by the initial value problem. If you get both of these determined, then there's only one solution for the differential equation.